The second thing is that before we move on to another amendment, we need to ensure that we've completed some of the things that are on the past amendment. And there is no, uh, in my understanding, and I'll ask staff maybe to give us uh, a sense of this, is there has been, uh, to date, there has not yet been the environmental and social review for McLaughlin Point and Heartland North. There have been bits and pieces, but not that promised environmental and social review. When will we expect those reports to be done? So first, uh, uh, Ms. Hutchison, if you could comment on the Technical and Community Advisory Committee and then perhaps Jack, you can respond to the yes. second question. Yes, thank you, Chair. The next meeting of the Technical Community Advisory Committee is just on Tuesday on the 15th, and on that agenda we will be taking a look at procedural issues. Uh, there has been some questions raised around uh, how the committee is going to operate and function and report back to this committee, and then we'll also be taking a look at those terms of reference uh, in consideration of the uh, provincial guidelines we've been talking to our counterparts at the province, and so I'm hopeful that we'll have those issues resolved uh, right off the bat at our next meeting. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I think we might be talking a little bit semantics here in terms of what we've done. Prior to 2007, the, the reports were referred to as environmental and social reviews. And uh, as this project proceeded, working with the federal government uh, uh, and the province, um, the titles were changed to environment, environmental impact studies. And so, for example, uh, in 2010, we produced this environmental impact study for McLaughlin Point and the Heartland facilities. And in fact, we are in the process of consol consolidating reports that have been done, and we're anticipating bringing that forward to committee in November. Uh, it'll focus on McLaughlin Point, because uh, until the decision on Heartland is made, we, we can't produce a report. But if you look at this uh, report, for example, when you look at the content uh, in terms of the social side of it, uh, air quality, archaeology, heritage, land use, traffic, noise vibration and lighting, human health, visual aesthetics, site contaminants, that's all related to social impacts. And in fact, as well, if you look at the recommendations in that report, much of the recommendation is related to community impacts. and. Uh, these considerations have been considered and included as part of the, the siting and uh, mitigation measures that are, that are being built into the procurement documents. Uh, the contractors will be required, for example, to produce a traffic management plan, an environmental protection plan as part of the, the work within the community and to work with the community to minimize the impacts during the construction period when when the impact is likely to be the greatest. Thank you. So just to follow up, we did get a, a, an a ESR for Sanit East North uh, Oak Bay, um, 200 and some odd pages. Are we receiving apples to apples here the same kind of report for McLaughlin and potentially for Heartland when and if a, a decision is made? Um, I, I'm honestly not familiar with that report on the Saanich East, because I think it was related to uh, a treatment plant on that location, which has since been uh, abandoned, and it's just the storage tanks at, uh, at uh, the... the uh um, Director, Director Desjardins, what, what Mr. Hull is saying is, in essence, we've done exactly what the ministry used to call environmental social review, and we've done the same thing, but this time, it, but now, the. Uh, Ministry of Environment is referring to them as environmental <sighs> environmental impact studies. Correct, Mr. Hall? This is a 200-page report, uh, and as, as I mentioned earlier, we we are consolidating all the work that's been done on the environmental and uh, environmental impacts, and bringing that forward next time uh, with a follow-up on Heartland specifically. So I'm, I'm not sure what's missing. I'll uh, go back and, and double check, but I appreciate the clarifications. Thank you.